Hey, what's up? It's Merck. All right, so uh, what we, I wanted to show you was uh, rotating in flash and the different ways you can do it and, uh, you know, what's cool and what's not. So the first one I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to use a regular motion tween with uh, one object. Okay, so what it is is I have this yin yang I made. It's just, you know, I just drew it and I grouped all the little parts together. So here's my yin yang. And in the first frame, okay, I just pasted it onto the stage. And then I went to uh, frame 20, I inserted a keyframe, and I pasted it there, right? So then what I did was I, uh, I uh, highlighted my entire layer. I went to properties here, and I put a motion tween, okay? And I, I made it go clockwise one time, all right? And then we're going to see the results here. We're going to go to control, test movie. Okay, now what we have here is the result. And what's happening is, it's hard to see on this flash compression, but um, this white dot, when it gets right here, it kind of like hesitates, kind of hiccups. Because it's this it, movie is in a loop. And when it gets to the 20th frame, it goes back to the first one, and there's that seam there. So it kind of hesitates. All right, on the second one, what we did is, is the first layer is the same as the first movie, okay? Exactly the same with the motion tween and everything. What I did was I added another layer here, layer two. Okay, what I did was I went to frame 19 and I added a blank keyframe. And then I put some action. That's action script there. It says go to and play one. That means what it's going to do is when, when it gets to frame 19, it's going to read the action script and it's going to say, okay, now we're supposed to go to frame one. So then it, it hops to frame one before it gets to the end of the movie itself. Okay, so it kind of like anticipates that there's a scene coming up. So this is the result. Okay, and we're going to go to control and test movie. All right. Now this one looks a little smoother. What happens is when the white dot gets to like around right here, what it does is it kind of hops, hops over to where it's supposed to be. Instead of and waiting it hops so you can still see the flop it's a lot harder to see though okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bit of action script and I'm not gonna get it into action script um, it's real simple you can uh, look at it yourself and uh, here it is right here All right so what I did was oh and I'll say this right here when we're do when we're using this it's because I have this particular object selected and um, okay this object right here oh, let me get over there. this object right here uh, the action script says this because I am selecting that object itself okay it's not like a, you know a movie that contains that object it's the object I'm have selected right so that's why I'm allowed to use this to specify okay so then what we do the result of that the action script I showed you earlier is this right here now this is really good because you don't get any kind of hiccup you you don't get any kind of skip or anything it's a very fluid motion you can specify how fast it goes by your action script look at it carefully get on the internet and find out the information you need to understand that action script, right? And uh, that's the way to go, yo. All right, take it easy. This is Merck.